Hi guys! In this tutorial I'm going to explain my workflow to import 3D Max scenes into After Effects. The goal of this is to import multiple 3D objects to After Effects in order to use the power of the shaders and render times of Video Copilot Element 3D. But use an animated camera generated in 3D Max since it is easier to manipulate than it is in After Effects. This process might seem simple, but you may encounter some problems. Let's see. To import cameras, lights, or objects positions from 3D Max to After Effects, we will use state sets. There are a few tutorials on YouTube where you can see how to do it. If not, let me know and I make one. The thing with this is that when you add a new layer in After Effects, it could be in an unexpected position. And also, look what happens when you add a 3D object from the same scene with Element 3D. The scale and coordinate system don't match at all. So to fix this, I came up with the following workflow. In 3D Max, once we have our object and camera ready, we need to make a group of everything. Make sure your camera is not at the edge of the group. If so, you need to add additional objects. What we want is to align the pivot point to the center of the group, and then align the group to the center of the world. If we have a camera at the edge of the group, when we export the elements, the pivot point will not be at the center, because the camera is not exported with the objects. Okay, with our group in position, we can ungroup everything and add a plain object that will be a reference. This will have to be at the center of the world also. Once we have all these, we can export the objects to OBJ. I found out it's better to start with the Cinema 4D preset and then add two changes. First, we activate normals and we change the scale to 5. Finally, all is left in 3D Max is to save the state set link. Make sure you save the camera, a reference object and any other object you need to reference position in After Effects. Ok, now in After Effects we can create the link from our state set. Then the first thing we will do is to reorient the elements. For that we will use a great script by Mama Word Tools called Orient Word. You can get it free at aascripts.com. I left a link in the description. So, once you have it all installed, all we have to do is to select our reference plane and in the Orient Word tab select Group Plane and set Word Center at 0, 0, 0. Then hit Apply. Nothing appeared to change. However, notice how the camera and the other elements move accordingly. Now we can add a new layer with Element 3D and import our 3D model. The final step is to create a group null and position it at 0, 0, 0. And that's it. Now we have a project ready to texture and render. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat the process to make it a little bit simpler to understand, I hope, this time in, in real time. So the first thing we're going, we're going to do is to create a little... some objects, a few boxes maybe. Something like in the other example. So we can have a camera. Okay. The thing is, we're going to create a free camera. I think it works best if you have a free camera. And you can make this uh, in any part. I mean, you can do the the objects on your scene and later prepare it to export to After Effects. So, we are going to make here a little path. Okay, something really simple. Move this up and link the position of the camera with a path constraint. Follow, correct the angle, and let's go here. I'm going to make the camera 35 millimeters, and 
I'm going to change the output size to full HD. Okay. Right now, this is our movement. Okay, this is our scene. We have a camera with a little movement. And the first steps I told you is that you have to make a group of everything. Now, if I make a group now, the camera is at the edge of the group. And when I will when I export this later, I'm not going to export the camera, only the objects. So the center is not going to be here. It's going to be a little bit more up in Y in this case. Even I think it will be well done. There. See, this is this is the real center. So if I make a group with this, I will have uh, an error because the center will be off. And I have to make the group with the camera because if I make the group only with the objects and then I move them, the animation of the camera will change. So that's why if I have this, I can make another object, just a dummy object. It doesn't matter if I'm not going to see it. The same goes in the uh, top and bottom of the scene. What we want is to have a group that uh, surrounds everything. Okay. So now, if I don't use the camera and the and the path, the center will remain the same. Okay. Let's do this. We select everything. We make a group. And now we are going to move the pivot point to the center of the object. And now we will move everything to the zero, zero, zero position. Okay. Now, as you can see, the animation is still the same. So now we can ungroup this and we will create our reference object. It could be everything. I'm going to make a plane. This plane also has to be in the zero zero zero. Okay, now we have to export all the objects. So, if you want, you can, you don't need to export this uh, reference plane, but I'm going to do it because sometimes it helps as a visual reference of where is the center of everything. Okay, so now I'm going to export, select it, and here I'm going to use an OBJ. And this, and this will be tutorial P. Okay. Now, when you export the OBJ, I found it better to use uh, a preset of this, starting with Cinema 4D. Why? Because some of the options are, uh, are a good uh, starting point. But you have to check normals, and I changed the scale to 5. Don't ask me why, I just found it that it helps. Okay, so export. And now we have to export. The, the, scene, the elements that we need. So we need the camera and a reference object. And if you need something uh, reference from, an, from for another position, you can create another reference. Let's say that um, at the start, like here maybe. Okay. There. Uh, we will place some element 3D object there. Okay. So now we select the three elements we want and we go to rendering, state sets. You have to open the compositor link if you don't see it right here. And now we just select this arrow and record. And now we're recording and we have three these three objects. Okay in um, in this uh, state set so now we can stop recording and we create a link here I'm going to put the name of the link and let 
that's it. I can come back to this level to get back to everything normal. Okay, now I'm going to save this and go to After Effects. Alright, so in After Effects, all I have to do is to go to File, Open Compositor Link, Create Link, and we go to open the link. And there you have it. This placeholder is because we didn't make we didn't make a render of the scene, so that's why we have that. We don't need it. Now, here you can see that the position of the camera is facing down, but we have all the movement. We have our, our, our reference objects. Everything is in place. Now, if I make a new scene, just to show you, and I create a new solid and a new camera, you can see that by default the camera is facing uh, upwards in this view. Upward. Okay? And it is facing downward. So we have to change this. We have to reorient the whole scene. That's why we will use uh, the Orient Word script. So here we select our reference plane and we say well this will be a ground plane. You can use a wall if you want to, if you make something with this one and it's aligned to the one of the axes. But we will use this ground plane and we will set this uh, point the origin to zero 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 and we hit apply okay looks like nothing changed but now if you select the camera you can see it's facing in the right direction and it's a little bit easier to work this way okay now all we need to do is to create a new layer and we're going to say element okay and we import our object okay here it is now we, when we do that we don't see the object because we have to move it to the zero 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 so for that we open the group one create a new null and in position we put it in zero 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 and there you go now we have our scene as planet and is in after effects we had a 3d camera animated in 3d that's more easier to animate now we can use the element layer and here we are going to create a new element let's say this time we could use some um, camp this other kind this other kind will be in group two okay and in group two we are going to create another null object and we are going to paste the position of this reference plane See, I usually uh, just copy and paste the position, right? Do I have this? And then we're going to scale it like ten percent. Okay, let's rotate it here if you want. Okay. And there you go. Now we can add different elements, different different objects, effects, and we can make a really good uh, camera animation. And we can use the power of the different shaders of Element 3D. So I'm going to do this. Just some colors. This is a great plugin, very fast. 
and there you have it. Okay, in the next tutorial, oh, I mean, the whole purpose of this was to create a simple uh, and fast manner to create 360 video animations. Because when you have uh, animation in a 3D program and want to create a 360 uh, views you need, it takes a lot of time to render, at least in my machine that it's a little bit old. So with this, we can render very fast and we are going to teach you how to do the 360 videos in the next tutorial. So I hope to see you there. I hope you like it. If you like, please subscribe. This is my first tutorial and I hope you like it. I'm Eddie and see you later. Bye guys.